Given an alpha-beta unsaturated ketone substrate, how do you decide whether the nucleophile that it reacts with is going to react in a 1-2 or direct versus 1-4 or conjugate fashion? In this webcast, we're going to take a look at some of the factors that dictate 1-2 versus 1-4 addition. At the top of this slide, you'll notice that weak bases tend to do conjugate addition to carbonyl compounds, whereas below it, you'll see that a strong base, such as phenyllithium, tends to do direct addition to carbonyl compounds. In the conjugate addition product, CN and H have added across the carbon-carbon double bond of the alpha-beta unsaturated ketone, whereas in the direct addition product, the nucleophile, phenyl anion, and hydrogen have added across the carbon-oxygen double bond of the product. This is a convenient rule of thumb to remember, but what are the underlying reasons that really govern why weak bases add conjugate and strong bases tend to add directly or 1-2? We can get at the answer to this question by considering the kinetic and thermodynamic properties of the key steps of direct and conjugate addition. Conjugate addition is irreversible. What this means is that once a nucleophile adds to an alpha-beta unsaturated ketone in a conjugate fashion, it's not going to dissociate from that alpha-beta unsaturated ketone. The bond that forms will not break. On the other hand, direct addition may be reversible, which means that the bond that forms upon the nucleophile adding to the carbonyl carbon has the possibility of breaking. You'll learn more about this in the next lesson, but whether or not it can break depends on the leaving group ability of the nucleophile. A third key point is that direct addition is faster than conjugate which means that the kinetic product, or the product that's formed more quickly, regardless of the nucleophile used, will be the direct addition product. However, if addition is reversible, then the direct addition product has the opportunity to equilibrate with the starting material, and eventually, given enough time or enough heat, the starting material will funnel into the more stable thermodynamic product, which is the 1-4 or conjugate addition product. What you should realize here is that under conditions in which the direct addition is not reversible, using strong bases, 1-2 addition will be favored and the reaction will be under what's called kinetic control, because the first step is irreversible, and so whichever step happens more quickly will be the one that happens and there will be no reverting back to starting material. However, if the nucleophile that's adding in is weak, then direct addition will be reversible, and reversion to the starting material will occur. Eventually, once the nucleophile has added irreversibly in the 4 position enough, the product that forms will be exclusively the more thermodynamically stable conjugate addition product.